Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm your host, John. Welcome to episode number 11 in the Electrical Test Prep Series. This is part 3 on section 210 in the codebook. I skipped over a lot of techie stuff because after taking numerous electrical tests, I have a pretty good idea of what to expect. Mainly, I want my test to teach where to look in the codebook when you don't know the answers. I also want to teach you to read technical stuff and break it down to simple terms. So let's finish with some items that just might show up on a test or two. Number one, which item location will be provided with a GFCI protected receptacle? A, a burglar alarm circuit. B, receptacles that exceed six feet distance to a sink. C, receptacles in an unfinished basement. D, de-icing equipment for plumbing. Number two, all but one location listed will require GFCI protection. A. Boathouses. B. Crawl spaces at or below grade level. C. Unattached storage units. D. Critical care hospital beds. Number three, where lights are connected to a circuit that exceeds 20 amps. A. The lamp holder will be heavy duty with a rating of 750 watts. B. The lamp holder will be made of porcelain and be rated at 750 watts. C. Will be mounted at least 8 feet above the ground. D. Will have a rating clearly marked on the lamp holder. Number 4. Branch circuits of 15 or 20 amps shall be permitted to A. Supply both lighting and receptacle outlets. B. Supply lighting only to one room. C. Supply power to cooktops in kitchen. D. Cannot supply power to both lighting and wall outlets. Number 5. A 30 amp branch circuit shall be permitted to supply carousel lighting. B. Not permit a fixture exceeding 80% of the circuit rating. C. Have a temperature rating of at least 60 Celsius. D. Not be mounted within 12 inches of combustible material. 6. A 40 or 50 amp circuit shall not be permitted to A. Supply permanently attached cooking equipment. B. Supply fixed lighting units with heavy duty lamp holders. C. Supply children's prefabricated playhouses. D. Supply infrared heating units. Number seven. In multifamily units with two or more units, A. Circuits can be shared from a community panel. B. Circuits can only share between a maximum of two units. C. Circuits can only supply power to each unit separately. D. Must be identified when circuits are split between units. Number eight. Outlets for laundry equipment must be located. A. Within 3 feet of the appliance. B. Within 6 feet of the appliance. C. At least 36 inches above the ground. D. Behind the appliance or within 18 inches. Number 9. In multifamily units, outlets will be provided. A. One outlet for each front and rear door. B. One outlet for each front door. C. One outlet for the front and rear of the building. D. One outlet for the front of the building. Number 10. In all habitable rooms and other areas, A. A switched light will be provided. B. Lights will be installed as shown on plans. C. Lights will be located where there is a falling danger. D. Lights will be installed one for every 300 square feet. That concludes episode 3 of section 210. Well, that just about wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.